My friends, hello and welcome back to another video. I am in holiday with uh, family, but uh, that doesn't stop me. On the contrary, that fills my heart with joy. And as I said, that doesn't stop me from sharing more content with you. Content about none other but uh, the darling of uh, this channel as well. The darling of your heart, <laughs> Jonathan Rumi friends. Relaxing here uh, in an uh, undisclosed location. <laughs> Feeling good. There's so much peace in the air, friends. And uh, to be away for a while, away from the Madigan crowd. <laughs> no, away from the madness that is in London feels good, friends. Feels good. I recommend you. I recommend you the same. If you can, as many times as you can, stay away from for a while from the crowd. Stay away from the madness that a, a busy city brings, and relax. Friends, uh, what I notice is that we relax too little in this life. And this life is passing by too much fast, friends. I just look behind and I cannot uh, understand where the time went by. Because for me, I feel like uh, I'm still a child or I'm still at least a, a teenager. <laughs> but I have to embrace the quote-unquote cruel reality that I grew up. And uh, I'm in my 40s. And what makes this embracing of reality sweeter is the fact that I have a family. Someone that I truly love. Someone that I can call my love. Someone that I can call my children. It feels sweet. Uh, and it's just... Um, <laughs> not just me saying this, but this is a reality. When you have a family, Life is really worth living. And if you do not have just yet a family, well, stay close to God. Don't lose your hope. If this is the desire of your heart, and this, to have a family honors God, then no, if this is the desire of your heart, God will grant you the desire of your heart. Don't forget, my friends, that God uh, gives good things to His children. And if my heart and your heart wishes and desires good things that honors God, God will grant what we are wishing for. This is the place from where I'm doing this video presentation, listening to CBN Christian Radio. It's an American Christian radio founded by Pat Robertson. Hey. From my heart, I recommend this to you. In those moments in which uh, maybe you don't feel um, peace inside your heart, in those moments in which you want to come closer in God's presence, closer to the throne of grace, then uh, listening to this kind of music for surely will help you to pray more powerfully. You feel God, but it's not just a feeling. Because I remember we do not live by faith, by seeing, by feeling, but we live by faith. We live by faith. Remember this. Faith is what characterizes us, not what we feel, not what we see. Faith, friends. So come in God's presence. Allow God to touch your heart. Allow God to fill your soul with peace and joy. Because this is what you find in God's presence. And then I imagine Christ on the cross. I wanted to say all this before uh, I show to you what I have. A sweet video with uh, Jonathan Rumi. Speaking about receiving 
this award the imitation of Christ, imitating Jesus, imitating Christ at the uh, 11th uh, annual. Um, um, it's a special ceremony, to put it more simple, a ceremony from San Paul Santa. San Paul Santa, the 11th annual ceremony. And, uh, and they wanted to award uh, this uh, award. <laughs> this one's really special, and who more special uh, was uh, from the midst uh, of uh, artists, Christian artists, than Jonathan Rumi, according to their opinion and according to the opinion of millions of fans, people that are watching the shows, people that are following closely Jonathan Rumi. Yes, we believe that. This award imitation of Christ uh, fits perfectly to Jonathan. So well, let's see Jonathan speaking. And then a uh, short video footage from the moment in which he received that award. And I'm honored to show this to you here. From uh, this <laughs> undisclosed location. Now already more than nine o'clock here. Everybody is sleeping with me. I am busy doing what I love. Stay close for more content. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Center's Imitatio Christi Award for presenting class. Thank you, Scott, from Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. I have some notes. I should have just listened to my speech from three years ago. I probably would have done a lot better. Uh, thank you, Dr. Scott. So, friends, it's friends, friends, and brothers, sisters, that's what I have for you. But this is all. I really love to outreach to you. Even uh, if I had a busy day, a long day, a day um, tumultuous, a little bit after I managed to get here, uh, I had to do this. I wanted to do this. I wanted to outreach to you and give you more content. I don't have computer here. I don't have no laptop. I just have my phone, but it will have to suffice. Because the design in my heart is more than my words can describe to you. I will always outreach to you. And to all of you that are still standing close to me, regardless of the fact that I show you some posts that are political, sometimes in moments like this, you have to shout out the truth louder for everyone. And that, uh, the things that you've seen, posted by me about politics are truthful. Thank you for still standing close to me. I believe that as Christians we should involve as well in social and even political issues. As by choosing to involve, we can make a difference. Don't forget this. If we decide to be just silent, then um, maybe, just think this way, maybe the world around us fell apart at a more accelerated pace because we were not willing to speak out. We were not willing to shout out the truth. We were not willing to involve social, political issues. And even, even 
Yes, the political system of this world is uh, cancerigen, <laughs> cancerous, evil. But as if we involve, who will we'll scare the devil? The devil feels that over there, he is the ultimate master. In a certain manner, he is. When we talk about politics, the devil is almost the absolute master. But us, we still can un undermine the devil. Remember this. By involving in politics, we can undermine the devil. It's time for uh, us to be more vocal. Jonathan Gomi is doing his work as an artist. Others are doing their work as a pro-life activist, pro-traditional family activist. Others, uh, they go there in politics. Donald Trump, someone far from perfection. But so, I'm always giving this example. Nebuchadnezzar, remember Nebuchadnezzar, he was far from perfect too. But he was used by God. He built up a, a temple for the people of Israel, regardless of him being Nebuchadnezzar. Remember that all. God can use faulty, sinful, imperfect people. And I think this definition covers all of us. We are faulty. We are sinful. We are imperfect. God bless you and thank you for listening. And thank you for still choosing to stay close to me. I appreciate it.